What time is it? And why does my head feel like someone dropped an anchor on it? Keep it down, will ye? Some of us are still trying to sleep. Wake up, drunken oafs. We've got important business today. A fine day for a treasure hunt. Set sail! Do so! Well, well. What do we have here? It's the UMC! But what speed they hunting? Are they... mermaids? Free Sir Maiden, ye be from these parts. Which way's Whirlpool Island? Sail in the direction of the rising sun. Your destination awaits thee there. Up a days! East! Full rudder! Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? That's the whirlpool. It's huge. If you get stuck in there, even the strongest ship will be smashed to pieces. The golden compass be working. We can search while moving forward. The currents here are strange. We should make haste. I'll show ye about this treasure, Henry. 110%. But I'll check with the golden compass to be sure. That's the treasure! 
Even if we scrape off the gold, it ain't enough for free people. <clears throat> Four people. Talk shares later. We must leave quickly. Look. Am I hallucinating from lack of rum? Or are there really that many UMC ships out there? Consider my fleet size a sign of respect. The three of you carry quite the bounties on your heads. Ah, uh, I'd take disrespects if it meant fewer ships. It's useless talking with the UMC. They only understand one thing. War. I am. Will. Take the lackeys on both sides. Leave the two big wigs to me. These fools have no idea what's coming. Lord Stanley, follow me. Settle with you later. As you wish. Witness the true bravery of the UMC. Attack! I fought to the death plenty of times before. I've got plenty more in me too. The sea is using the whirlpool to cry out. We must leave these waters immediately. I'd move aside, Navy boy. Otherwise, I've got no choice but to go through you. Griffin won't budge. We must fight! Griffin's main sail. We can escape! 
Golden. Not only do I best Jean fighting, but me crew's better too. Henry Hell, I admire your persistence, but it's time to settle this. It's really rather unsightly to lose so miserably, Commodore. Damn you, Stanley! I should court-martial you for delaying military action! By order of the Governor of the UMC, I hereby declare Commodore Gordon Griffin is to be executed for failure in duty, collusion with pirates, and the murder of Miss Betty Sharp! Stanley, you backstabbing son of a... The important thing about a blade is not how sharp it is, but how it's real. I take orders from you no more. on earth has Henry gone? Hard to tell what's going on in that brain of his. We've barely seen him since the last battle. Anyone who deserts their post must be punished. Even if it is the captain. Not a single piece of news. Dead or alive. Who knows? Don't worry. Captain be as tough as they come. Who cares about him? I'm talking about Will and Ahab. The battle was utter chaos. I've no idea if they've managed to escape or not. Let's keep moving. Keeps you from thinking too much. The market! This is the place to be for trading. Henry's broke. He won't be here. Even without a penny to his name, that boy still manages to wheel a deal. Hang on a minute. I know exactly where to find him. I be telling you, more than 30 UMC warships. <laughs> Whirlpool Island! I sunk them all! This lad be one for blowing his own horn! <laughs> Keep pouring those drinks, lads! Mark me! You heard of Commodore Griffin? Lord Stunley! I fed him to the fishes. Oh, really? You must be so brave. Tell me more. <laughs> Certainly, madam. I was... Uh... Betty! Oh man! This we lassie will take care of the town. Henry! You're not fooling anyone! Get up this instant! You knew all along that scoundrel was in the tavern! Didn't you, Rocky? Well, I never say I didn't know. I'll have you know I was there on business, gathering information. By getting blind drunk and bragging. 
Hear me out. I found out there's a cargo ship passing by here soon. It'll be ours for the taking. Come then, Ryu's crew be recruiting. Who wants to get rich with me? If there be gold or booze, count us in! Rocky, is it wise to have these rum-soaked thieves as our crew? You mean have a normal crew? You've still got a thing or two to learn about pirates. Enough with the whispering. Hoist the sails. A fat juicy target be coming our way. What can I say? Plundering still be the quickest path to coin. These goods will fetch a pretty penny at the market. We've lost our fair share of crew, though. Fret not. There'll be plenty more seed dogs where they came from. Load up the goods. Let's find a gullible landlubber at the market to take him off our hands. This place needs business people, and I'm the best in the business. One day you... These swindling crooks. This measly profit won't even cover me grog. Then maybe you should drink less. Ain't far from here. Should be a bigger market run by the merchant guild over there. Aye. Let's try a look there. If all else fails, we'll sell that broken horn. The guards at the guards at the harbors be stricter now. Entry and exit be getting trickier than it used to be. Trickier for ye, all right. Your face be plastered on wanted posters all over. Let me show you a little makeup trick. You won't even recognize yourself.
This must be it. Let's head to the exchange and try our luck. Get going ahead. I got some things to take care of. Collecting information at every port now. You're up to something. I can smell it. Legend says we can scout around the port with the help of the Golden Compass. But first things first, we need a nice spot with a nice clear view. To the lighthouse! This golden compass ain't half bad, but we can't use it too much each day. Needs a bit of time to recalibrate. Hope Cotton's okay. He could probably use some recalibrating too. Good day, Squire. How may I assist ye today? Where's your lucky die? I have here a most precious piece of treasure. Willing to trade for coin. Let me see. Hmm. Could this horn be... <coughs> One broken battered old horn. Worth ten gold coins. Clerk, put it on the books. Ten gold coins? What do you take me for? Give it back, I ain't selling. Battered old horn? These people have no intention of doing business. <laughs> you got our own. This be the kind of business pirates are good at. What do you mean? Don't know now, but we've been followed ever since we left the market. Spotty us, did ya? You be a sharp and... Come now. My men can be a bit impatient. Just hand over the horn. You think you can just take Henry O's stuff? You got another thing coming. Bunch of build rats. Scumbags were carrying more coin than we'd have got from selling the horn directly. Henry, the horn! It's glowing! Mm. Just like the golden compass. Maybe it actually is worth something after all. <laughs> <laughs> 